Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Outside the Box. I'm your host, One, the CEO, and tonight I have a fire segment for you. I have a boss babe with a vision. So I want you guys to buckle up your seatbelts because you're now plugged in, tuned in, tapped in to Outside the Box. All right, and we're back. Another week, another hot segment. And tonight, I have a boss babe with a vision. She's doing major things. She's making waves. She's just taking over her legacy and her destiny. So without further ado, I want you to give it up for my girl, Coco. Hey, how are y'all doing? It's the girl, Coco. I'm here ready to record and ready to get all my information I need to get out to help everyone get to where they need to be. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. I have been following your journey, and I see that you have been making waves from everything from artist management to your boutique to uh, promotions. I mean, you're just all over the place, just brown girl magic everywhere. 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 So can you tell me a little bit more about everything you do and what you have going on? Yeah, first I did start off doing, like, T-shirts. My mother, she got me in the game doing the shirts first. Mm -hmm. Like, I've always been creative, you know, ever since. I was young I used to draw and I've been on shows before but you know sometimes down a path you get lost you know mm -hmm. but it all came back to me because if it's your destiny if that's what God wants you to do it's gonna come eventually sooner or yes. later no matter what you do so right now I'm doing like custom t-shirts I'm doing um, marketing promoting for different businesses small businesses um, I do pop-up shops as well, mm -hmm. and also I do, like, custom trays. Um, I help with big bag promotions, okay. which we did have Jeezy come here. Um, and also I do just do a lot of different things as okay. well. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about big bags promotion. What is that? What, what exactly does that entail? Uh, big bag promotions is basically we bring different artists here to Houston. Uh-huh. So we give you guys a show at the end of the day. All right. Big bag promotions. Just like bring that. artists here to Texas. Yeah, with a big bag. <laughs> yes, so the T is you're actually going to be working with, let's see, Real World of Social Media? Real World of Social Media. Basically what we're doing, it's going to be like a reality TV show. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be reaching out to, um, you know, guests. As far as that's in an industry, what are you doing? Like acting, singing. You know, basically doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. have a talk show, any type of form of platform to get you to where you need to be, where you're dreaming, and you constantly putting in the actions to where you need to be. So we're going to give them a platform to put their artistry out. Okay. And we're all going to be in one household and basically like a reality TV show basically at the end oh, of the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Very interesting. V very interesting. Yes. So what was your aha moment? Like what? How did it start? Because you, you're doing multiple things. So you did give us a little bit of tidbit of how your mom got you into the T-shirts. Right, and, the T-shirts. You know, but now you're into promotions and artist management. What was the click clicker for that? Well, growing up, my grandfather, he is a pastor. So, you know, growing up in a church, we had a choir and things like that. So I always had an ear for music. And mm -hmm. I used to sing in a choir. My grandfather okay. can sing. You know, we have like a list of people in my family that can sing. So I always had the ear. Mm -hmm. And then people, they see me how I like promote my business and other businesses. And they see it's not just like a one hit a quitter thing. It's right. something I've been doing for over like five years. So whatever I do, I do it passionately and it's in my heart and I'm going to take it to the end. Okay. And people see that and I know how to get people to where they need to be because I have connections. As long as you like have the gift mm -hmm. and you have the work behind it mm -hmm. and I know I'm not wasting my time, time you know what I'm saying? Because I am very busy. Mm -hmm. Very busy. I'm going to put my all into you and I'm going to get you where you need to be. But you got to meet me halfway. Halfway. Yeah. That's, you know, that is one of the, sometimes the struggles of being management. Because, you know, we're passionate when we when we meet new people. And right. We want, we see that light and we want that light to shine. And sometimes we can find ourselves working harder for the artist than the actual artist. Yeah. Have you had any experiences with that? I actually have, like, I have this artist. 
I'm not name dropping, but I feel like the artist can be more than what she really is Mm -hmm. as she put more into herself and she believe into herself Mm -hmm. and then believe in herself. And Mm -hmm. then it take money to make money too. Right, right. You know, I'm willing to invest in you not only time, but money and all it. Mm -hmm. Because I feel that you got it. I know that you have it. Right, right. You know, but you have to know that you have it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things come up in your day-to-day life where, you know, you get knocked down sometimes. Because it happens to me, but at the same time, I'm still promoting you. You know, right. you don't know what I'm going through because I'm not going to tell you. Right, right, right. All right. you know is, damn, she pushing me and she giving me this and that, but it's not coming through because you're not following through. Right. So now it's to the point where I have to back back and focus on myself. Right. And, but, and it happens. Yeah, it, it happens. happens. I've had to. Right. Back in my younger day when I was doing a little management of my own, I found myself uh, doing more for right. the artists than they were willing to do for themselves. Right. And then it, it became an entitlement thing yeah. where they felt like, well, you my manager. You're supposed to do this. Right. Boop. No, I'm not a record label. I'm not responsible for paying for anything. Right. So if I pay for it, that means that I'm investing into you where no one else would. Exactly. You know, so a lot of times people misunderstand what a manager is exactly. you know there's different roles for that you want somebody to book you you need a booking agent now if a manager books you that's a plus because managers don't do booking, exactly you know exactly. but a lot of people think oh you're my manager you're finna get me booked no i'm your manager so when your booking agent books you then i'm going to manage it on the back end exactly you know and that's but, what i get it like confused mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. but i'm willing to go all, all out, the way and all book out. them and everything yeah. get them photo shoes interview but you have to show me that yeah. you're worth it yeah you know because if i feel like i'm pushing more than the artist mm-hmm. hey i need to file back because at the same time i got like five or six different businesses that i'm, I'm running. running and i got family issues i got my own problems mm-hmm. but i'm still putting you first but i'm like damn okay well this day went by she ain't did this this way this day went by nothing's still happening and right. i'm still pushing you so my shit getting behind right right so let me just focus on myself yeah. but i'm still there once you show me that you're ready though yeah you yeah. know that's the way it's supposed to be you, yeah. you definitely don't want to put your pearls in the basket with a hole at the bottom you want to exactly. make sure that what you're investing in is investing in themselves as well exactly. because a partnership nothing is going to flourish if only one person is doing exactly the work. it takes so, two yeah so now that you you know you've learned a few lessons like how did that change the course of your decisions as far as how you move in business when dealing with people um dealing with people as far as business i learned to not take things personal yeah yeah that's the number one, the only thing I can yeah. say as far as that. Because, like, if you take things personal in business, you're not going to succeed. You cannot operate at your best thinking from an emotional state. Exactly. Because yeah. you're not going to get shit done. Yeah. You're trying to do this and that, and it's like billions, millions of dollars on the table or whatever, but your mind is somewhere else. You in your feelings when you, you should in be in your bag. In your bag, you know, in the bag, you're going to fumble the bag because yeah. you think about some other shit. And they in their bag while you're thinking about them. You fumbling it yeah you know yeah, yeah. so i just separate the two that's what i learned yeah and that's, that's that's smart yeah so what advice can you give someone that's looking to start their own boutique i want to ask you about that first as far as starting your own boutique i want to let you know to make sure you do like your research your due diligence yes yes mm-hmm. that's the first and foremost and don't think just because oh you open a boutique Oh, such and such is going to support and this and that. No, everybody, nobody like, well, I'm not going to say nobody, but Mm -hmm. majority of the people that you think is going to support is not. Right. And I I tell people all the time, because I've learned, I've been in the business for over 20 years. I'm showing my age. But, (laughs) you know, (laughs) you, it's, it's almost like business suicide if you think that you're consumers is going to be out on your friends list yeah you know and for you to make it your friend's responsibility or to feel bad because your friends are not supporting you that that's not fair either it's just right. like I, i'm a i'm an author i wrote books and a lot of my friends didn't buy my book but some of them don't even read yeah and it, it, if they bought it it probably was just to say that they supported me but they, i would mm-hmm. prefer that they actually read the book. Right. So it's okay if you don't want to buy it because it's going to be 10 other people that's going to buy that book. You know, and most of your support is going to come from unfamiliar faces because they're not coming to you with entitlement. They're not going to come looking for the homegirl, homeboy hookup. Right. Like, I know you print shirts. So what you can, what can you 
you know, you give them your price and then yeah. they say, okay, well, that's your price. Well, how much you going to give it to me for? Right. Didn't you just ask me right. what my price was? Like, you can't go to Fashion Nova, you know None what I'm of saying, them. Walmart and say, so what you going to give me for? No. Right. You going to pay know. what you have to pay on that tag. And I'll say this. If you really support your friends, stop asking them for discounts. Round of applause. Yes. <laughs> stop asking for discounts because we work hard to, to, to produce and right. to present product and for someone to come and say hey well can you give it to me cheaper that's an insult it is it is this is a lot that go into it yeah it is a lot that go into it so can you tell me about some of the things you have going on i heard you uh taking a tax class yes get right tax dollars for the end of the fall. <laughs> i'm trying to get tax, season, tax huh? money for tax season yeah. right now i'm gonna be with austin power texas um i do have my training coming up this saturday okay so be looking forward to that you know and what i can say i've been in business especially like with the marketing and promotion like for five years now mm-hmm. and no matter what i do my mm-hmm. customers, they're going to always trust in me and invest in me and follow me. So I'm looking forward to this tax year. So y'all support us. Yes, and yes. after that, you know, it's going to be more things coming. So stay tuned. Now, you're uh, you're a family woman. Do you have any children? or? Right now, I have one child. It's a pet. Oh, <laughs> Mocha. It's my fur baby. Okay. <laughs> she is a pit bull. Okay, okay. It's my baby Mocha. Now, you said fur baby. I'm thinking you finna say Shih Tzu or <laughs> Poodle. She no. says, oh, she, she's, she's a, a pit bull. bull. <laughs> yes, girl. She is small. She is small. I'm telling y'all. She's yeah. Small. But she's so friendly. She's okay. Friendly. So, yeah. that's cool. So, you know, you have, I was going to ask you, like, how do you juggle it? But, you know. I mean, pets are easier than girl. Not my girl. Let me say, <laughs> <laughs> she's an inside dog, and yeah, yeah, they're babies too. Yeah, that, yeah. that's their I mean, baby. Exactly. When you take a trip, you still gotta get a babysitter. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> all it. Yeah, all of that. But nobody told me that female dogs have menstruation, so you know, we get a little better with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes so they have like to go in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's my baby. Yeah. But no kids right now, so hopefully. Next year, I'll be looking forward to that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Growing. Sewing and growing. Sewing and growing. <laughs> so, being a businesswoman, wearing so many hats, what what are some of the tough lessons you've learned in business? Well, I would say as far the tough lessons that I learned is one of them would be to do um, pre-sales. Because mm-hmm. when I first started, I was doing the T-shirts. And so, you know... The t-shirts people oh i want this i want this i want this so i'm going to the store spending money wasting time and then when it's time to pick up the order oh they can't get it because they got to pay this bill or this and this happened mm. so i always tell all my business owners that i help to try to do pre-sales mm-hmm. you know make sure you get your money first get your money first or deposit yes that way you know that you're not just wasting your time, your time. or spending money mm-hmm. you know you just have material just sitting there that you're wasting money on things like it that. has happened to me, yeah. Well, someone ordered something and I didn't pay my money up front so that I could have their order. And they was like, "Oh, girl, you know what? I'm gonna hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it next month." Yeah, and and, and it still be sitting there a year later. I'm like, you know, yeah. but it's you know trial and tribulations and you learn. Yeah. It's trial and error, so it's yeah. all good. But okay. you learn as you go. So, um, is there anything else that we could be looking forward to from you? You know, outside of the reality shows. I mean, that's so much already because you have the yeah. reality show, you have the boutique, you have the tech service that's been launched, big bag promotion, yeah, big bag promotion. Helping my brother with that, yeah. So, um, and basically, I'm trying to expand my boutique. Mm-hmm. So once I expand my boutique next year, it'll be more things going on inside the boutique. So I'll keep you guys updated with that as well. All right. Now, do you have a support team? I do. I have a support team. I have my friends. I have, you know, my parents, my family, and, of course, my husband. Mm-hmm. How am I doing? And, you know. Sometimes that's I, all you need. That's all I need. And, of course, my like I said, my customers, they've been there, like, right. since day one. And they a lot of times people don't understand that, you know, you don't have to have a huge, huge team because – it's quality over quantity. Right. You know, exactly. so if you have the right people in your team, on your team, you can go far. Right. I had a lot more, but, you know, sometimes you had those, quote, unquote, fake supporters. Mm-hmm. So you have to weed them out. Well, you know, it's you easy 
for people to want to jump on a train once it's moving. Exactly. You know? But it, sometimes it'd be the ones that was already right. on a train, but once the train started moving and they you, feel like they getting left behind, behind, you know yeah. how that goes. goes. So you got to be careful <laughs> with that. <laughs> you got you know. I will say this, you know, being a female entrepreneur, because I think that we deal with this more than the male spectrum with that competition thing. Uh, I will say this, and Oprah also said it, you cannot be friends with someone that wants your life or someone that envies your life right. because they will do eventually sabotage mm -hmm. what you're trying to build. Right. So you want to surround yourself with people that aren't in competition with you, right. but compliments you, right. you know, where it's a reciprocal thing right. where they're not the only one um, benefiting because right. if that happens, then it'll be a time where they won't benefit and they won't understand it and they'll feel like you being brand new, but right. it's not their time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes when you have people that you started from the bottom, you don't always end up at the top with those same people right. because not everybody is ready to level up with you. Right. And sometimes our vision can be so huge that it's almost impossible for them to even found them. And it may even sound like, we're blowing up smoke right. because they're like, oh, man, she ain't going to be able to do that. That's something. Right. And then so when you what, do it, it's a different story. That's the type of what story. I have. And to, mm -hmm. also when building a team, sometimes if they don't see results fast enough, they get tired and they'll jump out the boat before the boat docks. Yeah. Not realizing that. The dock was right there. They just couldn't see it because of the fog. Right. You know, but they jumped mm -hmm. out a little bit too soon. If they would have just held on and kept it trill, we would have we would have all ate. But instead, they jumped ship because they felt like. But that's like, how it's supposed to be because that's yeah. when God is supposed who's supposed to be with you and who's not. Right, and, right. You know, that's part of what I had to go through um, towards the beginning of the year. But yeah. I'm glad though them people are out of my life, you right. know. And it's okay, and I tell people all the time, it's okay to break up with your girlfriends. Yeah. You know, we... Everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. Everybody and, can't go. you know, go. sometimes we, as women, we, we handle our relationships different. Now, mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, I handle my relationships with women the same as I do with men. In other words, if you're toxic, I'm going to break up with you. I can't hang around you. But we tend to um, put up with toxic men and then give our girlfriends a pass, I don't put up with none of it. Yeah. You know, if my girlfriend showed me a side that she can't be trusted or she's competing with me on a level that we supposed to be eating together and not right. competing together, right. I'm going to love you, but I'm going to love you from over there. From a distance, you know? right. So that's, you know, that's like, it's not about me, but that's, I'm sure that's something that you probably can relate to. Right, I agree, because, 100%. Right. You know, like I said, I've been watching your journey, and I've been seeing you do things and make moves, and I'm definitely proud of you. Thank you. For just continue to hold your head up high, keeping your shoulder to the ground, and just, just, just doing things that are outside the box that a lot of people probably could say, oh, you can't do this, but you're doing it. Right, because I know? trust me, I heard it plenty of times growing up. You know, if air, you know, anybody that really know me in the past, I was like so shy in my shell. But I always been creative and had dreams. And some people they knocked me because of it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it came to a point where God just like, you know, you this can't hide you. this no more. Mm -hmm. This this is you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I didn't wake up out the blue and this just happened. You know, right. this just what I was blessed with. Mm -hmm. And I just, God don't want me to hide in the mouth because I got to help people get to where they need to be in their business, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, in which I have been doing. So I'm just. I commend you for that. Thank you so much. Because it takes a special type of person to actually put other people first. I, <laughs> and I see business, that you do that. Yes, yeah. business, personal. That's just me, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. Like, anybody that really know me, they know me. I have plenty of people confide in me because they know I put people before me. Mm -hmm. No matter if I'm lacking whatever you want to know because I'm going to give it to you, but I'm not going to tell you. Right, right. But me and God know. Yeah. But I know God going to take care of me. Right, right. You All know, so I just got to keep on striving and walking in my light no matter who try to dim it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I had a fucked up past. Right. Trust me, I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm perfect. If you right. know Jessica, you know my past wasn't not good. It wasn't good, you know. But God take his people through certain things for a reason. He give his toughest battles to his strongest servants. Amen. And I this. definitely <laughs> commend you for being an underdog. I love a good old underdog Don't story. you? Girl, I love it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm here now anyway. Yeah, yeah. what you got to say. Yeah, I know y'all still talking, but I'm longer. here. Take a picture. <laughs> you know, because this just 
the beginning, yeah. you know. I'm definitely proud so. for you uh, allowing your light to shine and the stepping out on faith and doing you the Coco way. Thank you. know, you. regardless <laughs> of what people may think, say, or impress up on you or project. Because sometimes people will project their limitations on you. So I commend you for not allowing people from your past, maybe it was childhood or whatever. Yes. You didn't allow them to, to project their limitations on you. You right. jumped outside of that box and right. you are soaring. Thank so you. my hat goes off to you. And thank I you Thank so you much. for coming and let me get all in your business. Anytime, girl. Anytime. <laughs> all in your thank business. You. And so if our listeners and our viewers, they want to keep up with you. You actually have a website where people can go. Yes. And that is um, femalehustlebrand.com. They can go there and they can, and what does what can they find on this website? On a website, I also have a boutique. I do have like club wear, I have everyday wear, and then also I have my female hustler brand because you know we got to be hustlers at the same time. So you can get your branding packages, which is a logo, or you need a website, you need flyers, e flyers, business cards. Everything is there, so I can oh, get you where you need to be. Okay, so I'm trying to elevate y'all. It's 2021 coming artist. up. You trying to get a branding package? I'm they can mad. just go to hustle brand. Everything. Yeah. If you want some fly ass clothes, you know, a package to get your business started or to get you where you need to be. I also do consultation. Everything. Just let me know. Oh, that is <laughs> so dope. Look at that brown girl magic. And so, if we want to follow you on Instagram, Instagram, my personal is you, the letter U, love underscore. Hi, Coco. And also my um, custom design business is Houston Custom Designs. And you can find me on Facebook at Houston Custom Designs as well. Okay. Well, dope. And they can go in there and get them good old rolling trays. I saw that too. Oh, yes. Yeah, they popping this season. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor tricks, whatever. Everything. Everything. Right, I'm going to have to go in and get some more work on there. We're going to talk about you. that after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. So, again, I want to thank our viewers for tuning in. Reminder to you that you can catch us on multiple flat platforms. You can catch us on YouTube, Google Play, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Hip Hop Streets live stream music app, SoundCloud, Spotify, Spreaker, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, and you can also find us on Facebook. Once again, I'm your host, Oneida CEO. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another week, another fire segment of Outside the Box, and you are now Outside the Box. Thank you.